What happens when a child has the body of an old person? How do they live? Well, like an old child. These children have a rare genetic disorder called Hutchinson-Gilford progeria syndrome, or more commonly known as progeria or HGPS. It only affects children of one in every four million births worldwide. Progeria is Greek, meaning prematurely old. It is named after doctors who first described it in England, Dr. Jonathan Hutchinson in 1886 and Dr. Hastings Guilford in 1897. There is another form called Werner syndrome, however that is late onset and lasts until a person's 40s. Signs and symptoms include slowed growth with below average height and weight, narrowed face, small lower jaw, thin lips, and beaked nose, head disproportionately large for the face, small face and jaw relative to head size, prominent eyes and incomplete closure of the eyelids, hair loss including eyelashes and eyebrows, thinning, spotty, wrinkled skin, visible veins, high-pitched voice. Health issues include hardening and tightening of skin on the trunk and extremities, similar to scleroderma, delayed and abnormal tooth formation, some hearing loss, loss of fat under the skin and loss of muscle mass, skeletal abnormalities and fragile bones, stiff joints, hip dislocation, insulin resistance, severe progressive heart and blood vessel cardiovascular disease. The prognosis is early death. As many as 90% of the children die from cardiovascular disease in events like heart attack or stroke, with few living above the age of 13. Some people don't even know about it, but um, you probably don't have um, progeria, right? Do you know what progeria is? Yes, it makes your head bored. What is progeria? How does a child get this disorder? They are born with it. It is an autosomal dominant condition resulting from mutations in the Lamin A gene. It almost always occurs in children with no family history of the disorder. A single gene mutation leads to premature death. Progeria is a spontaneous mutation. It is difficult to pass down since it is a dominant condition. So a person with progeria can pass down progeria, but most people with progeria don't have children. It can happen to anyone. It is not sex or race linked. Any child can be a victim. I'm five years old and my name's Lynn. My dad's name is Joe. That was the fastest I could run. That's awesome. I love baseball. Yeah? <laughs> I love watching you play baseball. <laughs> well, me and my mom like playing with the ponies. Legos, ponies, I draw set, trains, cooking. But all these activities take a toll on Lindsay's body. Every time I run, mm -hmm. my leg can't recess at school, my muscles hurt. Do they? Yes, the leg ones. <laughs> Not my arm ones, my leg ones. Really? Yes. I'm a silly monkey, but you're a silly Lindsay. <laughs> yes. So we're the same. Which one of us is sillier? You? You think I'm sillier than you are? I'm not so sure. And Lindsay, does anybody ever say anything to you that you don't like? People are, people are nice and, and sweet. Well, you know why? Because you're nice and sweet. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> but not everyone has always been nice and sweet to her. Are there times when people think you're a baby? What, what do they think you are? How old do they think you are? Two. What do you say to them? I'm not a baby. You're not a baby. And that makes you feel bad? Well, all they have to do is hear you talk, and they know you're a big girl. Yeah. When I asked her, you know, whether anybody makes fun of her, or her face changed. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see her face, and you see for that brief moment 
that the glow was gone out of her eye. Yeah. When you look at Lucy, what do you see? Strength. What do you see about her looks? I don't see progeria. You just love her unconditionally? Yes. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, I'm Sam and I just turned 17 and I have a disease called progeria. So just to give you an idea, I weigh about only 50 pounds. And John Hamilton asked me the question, what is the most important thing that people should know about you? And my answer was simply that I have a very happy life. <laughs> so even though there are many obstacles in my life, with a lot of them being created by progeria, I don't want people to feel bad for me. I don't think about these obstacles all the time, and I'm able to overcome most of them anyway. And even though I have progeria, most of my time is spent thinking about things that have nothing to do with progeria at all. Now this doesn't mean that I ignore the negative aspects of these obstacles. When I can't do something like run a long distance or go on an intense roller coaster, you know, I, I know what I'm missing out on. But instead, I choose to focus on the activities that I can do through things that I'm passionate about, like scouting or music or comic books or any of my favorite Boston sports teams. <laughs> I'm extremely lucky to have an amazing family who have always supported me throughout my entire life. And I'm also really fortunate to have a really close group of friends at school. It used to be like this thing that prevents me from doing all this stuff that causes other kids to die, that causes everybody to be stressed. And now it's, um, you know, a protein that is abnormal that weakens the structure of cells. And it takes a burden off of me because now I don't have to think about progeria as an entity. There is no cure. The children are simply monitored for cardiovascular disease and regularly examined with electrocardiograms, dental, vision, and hearing exams to keep the child as healthy as possible. Therapies are often to ease and delay symptoms like aspirin, physical therapy, and monitored nutrition. Current research includes studying genes, trying to prevent heart and blood vessel disease, and clinical trials with foreign acyl transferase inhibitors, FTIs. These children deserve so much more in life. Future research is focused on helping to find a cure which would not only help people with progeria, but also help scientists understand the process of aging. Please help these kids and donate to the Progeria Research Foundation.